So today we're at Copley Glen, uh, which is in Copley, um, just uh, off the main road. Uh, this is the front garden that we're looking at at the moment. And you'll see parking is at the end here. Uh, the previous tenant who I met said there's no allocated parking, it's whoever parks there first. Uh, but the road goes up, you can park up there. Uh, and failing that, you can park up on the main road anyway. Um, so there is a, obviously you've got a bit of a walk to the property, so just bear that in mind if you're coming to book. Um, but once you're here, it's a little oasis because obviously there's no traffic out here and it's a nice quiet spot in the end terrace. So from here, uh, we'll do downstairs first. So we step into the living room. Would have been you know, a relatively modern property. You've got gas central heating and double glazing throughout and it is offered unfurnished. Uh, I would mention the GoPro does make rooms look smaller than what they are, uh, but this is, this is a good size living room. Uh, under here, I notice you've got the electric meter, so you've got a bit of storage under there as well. It's got a couple of radiators in here, which is nice, keep it nice and toasty. This is the dining kitchen, so you could put a, a dining table here, some chairs. Uh, you've got a nice breakfast bar arrangement going on as well. Also got your instruction manuals there. Uh, you have a door here, patio door, which lets you out to the back garden. You see it's a nice enclosed garden. I notice you've got a gate at the top there, so you can probably go out there and walk up. So if you want to park on the top there, you can just walk down this way as well. So that's another option. Uh, the kitchen itself. Uh, another door out there, by the way. You've got a barn style door, which is nice and summer. You can just open the top part. Look if you've got little kids, um, keeps them safe in the house. So this is the kitchen, as you can see. I'm just going to have a look at the appliances. This looks like it's a dishwasher, which it is. Got a nice five ring uh, range there, you know, five ring gas hob. Uh, so that's a nice, uh, nice oven. And here we have storage and, yep, yeah, you've got your fridge. And your freezer and here you've got your washing machine and it says drying on there as well so it must be a washer dryer looking at that okay so all your appliances are in which is good okay so from the dining kitchen through the living room we then go upstairs uh, we've checked the smoke alarms, they are in date, there's one upstairs and one downstairs. So then we go to the first floor, and you go to the smoke alarm up there. We've got a CO detector for the boiler that's up here. So this is the landing area, and a traditional layout, you've got two double bedrooms and a single, and then obviously your family bathroom as well. Uh, the boiler, as I mentioned, is in here, you'll get a gas safety certificate for that. So, first bedroom, double room, you can see they probably have the bed here, two bedside cabinets, a couple of cupboards over there. Nice views at this side, you've got the hillside in the distance there. Yeah, it's a lovely spot here. Uh, you've got mirrored wardrobes, so obviously you can put your uh, clothes in here as well. More cupboards, drawers. So plenty of storage. Go to the second main bedroom. So this room's at the back of the house. Uh, just to give you an idea of geography actually, uh, where that red car is, that's the primary school. So that's uh, it's very convenient. Good for the motorway, good for town. Copley proves to be very popular actually because of its access to facilities. You're also close to the canal. You can go for walks down the canal. Um, bathroom has got a shower in, so it's a four piece. I just pivot around so you can see what's going on. So you've got a corner shower, electric, you've got a WC, you've got your bath, towel heater, mirror cabinet, and a sink. So yeah, nice bathroom. And finally, I'll just show you the last bedroom, which is traditionally a single bedroom, which it is. 
you quite easily put a single bed here or sometimes people put a cabin bed so you've got a bed on the top and a little desk underneath um, depending on your family size it could also be a home office as well uh, it'd be a nice spot to work if you work from home here okay so that is the property if you are interested just give the team at peter david halifax a call and we'll make arrangements for you to come and have a look thank you